G'day guys, welcome back. My turntable has arrived. Yay. So this is a cake turntable. It's um, aluminium. Uh, it's pretty heavy. I think it said on the box it weighs eight kilograms. So it's about that 15 pounds or something like that. So yes, I'll put that on so you can actually see. Whoa, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> okay, so nice and stable. Um, I just got it from eBay, posted it out, nice and easy. Now, what I'm going to do is, because I don't want it getting stuck with paint and, and things like that, so I am going to cover it with some foil. And because my foil isn't quite big enough to go over the edges, I'm going to put one that way and one that way. So let's do that. And then I could probably do a few paintings. And because it's foil, it should easily, like you can bend it around the, the edges. I was debating whether to just use cling wrap, plastic wrap, but I think this, because I can crimp it like this on the edges, I think it'll be better. And then I'll go that way, and that'll cover those edges that I've missed with the first layer. Okay, so that's the prep done and then when it gets really dirty I'll probably do a few paintings maybe or I don't know maybe not because it'll get covered in paint and you don't really want paint on your canvas so still spins really well now I've got a big canvas today look at that this was given to me by one of the ladies that came to my class last year for, she gave it to me for my birthday Natasha Rollins hey Tash I'm finally going to use it I didn't know what to do with it now on the back, I've put some tape. I've just got masking tape. I've folded it. I've folded it so it's sticky on both sides. And I'm going to use that to just help it adhere to the turntable. I, I don't know if I'm getting it straight though. That's the only thing because I can't really see underneath. I'm just going to have to put it down and hope for the best. Actually, I'm going to have to move these out of the way though. Sorry, bear with me. I just got all my colours out that I wanted to use. I'm doing, doing blues and greens today, my favourite colours. Right, they're out of the way. Now, how is that looking if I... If I do it there, I won't push it down just yet. No, oh, it's too late. <laughs> It's stuck. All right, that'll do. I'll just do that and get it stuck down nicely. Okay, let's see if it spins. Yes! Woohoo! Okay, that's the first step. The tape's sticking up there a little bit. I'm sure, oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, let's measure this baby. Okay, corner to corner. I'll do it that way so you can see. Whoa! Corner to corner, what I've got, 60 centimetres, 24 inches. Oh, that's a big one. Wow. Okay, I have no idea how much paint I'm going to need for this. Um, I've got, oh, this is almost full, so this will be plenty. This is for my pillow. British paints, uh, wall, interior, low sheen, white. So I'll use that for my pillow. The pouring medium for my paints, which I should give, I'll give these a bit of a shake and then I'll, um, I'll take all the lids off. So I'll show you what the colours are. I've got a teal, uh, phthalo blue and phthalo green. I'll take the lid off and then I'll put it in the same order that I took it out of. And then I've got a turquoise. These are all Joe Sonia's paints. That's them there. They come in the bottles, they also come in tubes. So that's the turquoise. And then I've got just plain phthalo blue. All right, so I'm just gonna get them set up over here on the side, put them in order that I want to use them. Although I'm, I'm gonna be doing like blobs because it's too big, so I'll be doing blobs here and there. Let's just start uh, light green. And this is a navy that I made. It's basically phthalo with a little bit of black. So that's that one. 
And then this one, my dirty bottle and to clean it. It's not much of that actually. That's turquoise with a little bit of uh, phthalo blue added, just to make it a little bit of a, a bluer turquoise. And what have we got next? I thought I'd throw some gold in there, just because. No gold and blue are gonna make like a greeny color anyway. So all blues and greens today. And then my cell activator is uh, Floetrol and I'll get the bottles out so that you can see. Australian Floetrol, Amsterdam, Titanium white, three parts flow trial, one part white for this one. My last big bloom I did two to one, but I found I had a lot of white in the middle and I couldn't really blow out, so I'm gonna try the three to one. Uh, sorry, I'm getting there. Pouring medium, I've used three parts of untinted wall paint, one part Joe Sonia's gloss varnish, one part polyacrylic. Okay, everyone got that? Right, let's bloom. I'm gonna get my gloves on. The glovey's on. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm always nervous. Oh, look, I was nervous at the last one, but this one's even more nerve-wracking. It's so big. I've got my hair dryer. Now, the favourite thing that I've decided on so far, I've tried a few different things, is just the medicine cup. I've got a couple of medicine cups, um, and I've cut the bottom out. Not the whole of the bottom, but just there was a little rim there, and I just cut that out. So that's it, and I'm gonna have it on cool and on low. So just on low, on cool. Okay, so I've got my order. I'm gonna do some puddles and then like some dots as well. Um, just that I've got different colors in different areas because it's so big. And I think I'm gonna to have to use quite a lot of paint, aren't I? Because this is a big baby. All right. All right, let's just do this, hey? Get on with it. Nerve wracking. Okay, and hopefully my canvas will stay in place and not go flying off. Hopefully the weight of the paint and the tape underneath is enough. Glob, 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 glob. I don't know how much to use. Um, probably need a bit more than that. I like it to be pretty close to the edges. When I'm doing the smaller ones, I have it about an inch from the edges. But, um, I mean, this is big. I'm not going to be able to, well, I don't think I'm going to be able to actually take it off and move it because of the tape underneath. Um, oh, do I do some more? I'm tempted. Mm, just a little bit. I gave it a good shake up, the can. That's why it's a little bit, um, it's got bubbles and things in it. I wonder if I should pop them quickly. I don't really want to make a skin, but let's just pop them real quick. Right, that'll do. I don't want to make a, a hard skin over the top from the heat. Hopefully that'll be all right. Okay, let's start layering. This is the teal. And you know, I'm gonna to have to have quite a lot of paint, as I said it's so big I use up a lot of my paint aren't I uh, what's today oh Saturday today no no it's not it's Friday today Got my gardener coming back this morning to finish some work in the garden, some garden beds that I'm making, or having made, I should say. I try and overlap because when you know those colours blend together, that should look really pretty. I'll put some dark out here on the outside. Oh, I shouldn't have put that next to that dark though. Hey, let's just put a little bit there. A little bit there and a little blob on the outside on the lighter turquoise let's try for light dark light dark so that you can actually see your colors you can go across both of them yes you can 
I haven't got much of this. It's pretty much using all that up. Need something in the middle there. And a little bit of you in the middle as well. See, I'm putting a lot of paint on. What haven't I done yet? The gold. What else do I want? Um, let's have a little bit more blue just there. Okay, how's that looking? A little bit of lime there. Okay, <clears throat> I think that's probably enough. What, what, I, what I look for is the size of my canvas. If I have about the same size there as I have in paint, roughly, um, then I think I'm okay. Mm. Actually, I haven't got any teal up the top here. Teal's all underneath. Okay, all right, that's about it. So that, no, I see I can't really, I <laughs> can't tilt to get it back that way. <clears throat> my table must be, unless I tilt, oh, there we go, I can tilt the whole thing. My table must be a little bit heading that way. I did prop it up oh, months ago. Okay, here we go. Um, now, because it's quite big, I need quite a lot of white, but not all in the same spot. I'm going to try and like move it around. Try and space it out. Okay, guys, wish me luck. This is a lot of paint wasted if I stuff this up. Straight down into the middle and then try and get out. wasn't a fantastic blow. Whoops, what am I? Oh, catching on the foils just catching on the pedal pad. Alright, I think I think it'll be alright. What if I can blow some of that out that way? Whoops, I'm not on cold. more little ones there <clears throat> we'll see what happens so I've got a bit of a dip there and I've got a bit of a dip there from blowing the white because it's you know it's so big I wasn't sure where to, to blow but it's it seems to be all right it seems to be coming back in the colors are, are looking good uh, with the with the slightly thinner cell activator your white isn't quite as um, dramatic I guess it sinks a little bit it thins out more whereas if you make your white a bit thicker it tends to be more like at the moment the white's quite subtle but if you have your white thicker as a two to one ratio two to flow troll one to paint then your white is is thicker on here and you can see it more uh, like like this one. I mean, this one's been blown out already, but you can see the white is much more. What's the word? I don't know. It's more there. <laughs> oh, I can't think of the word. All right, I'm just going to let that sit for a minute. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put you on pause while that just sits for a minute rather than waiting for me.
make sure that's taping. Are you taping? Yes, you're taping. Okay. I just left it another minute. It still looks as if it's a little bit stuck just there, but I'm going to go with it. All right. Oh, there's a hair. There's always a hair. Let's get that out before we start, hey? A little tiny doggy hair or a bit of fluff or something. Always have a skewer in your studio, guys. That's, they're very useful. Okay. I really love this area that I blew out afterwards. This is gorgeous. I'm a bit concerned about the middle. And of course, you know, it's the middle. So your eye's drawn there, but I've still got enough paint. If it doesn't work, I'll pour over it, hey? And <clears throat> well, because I wanted this to be a really pretty pour. And I've got my thicker CA ready if I need to. All right. Let's spin this baby! Oh, there goes a lot of white. My foil is still catching on the bottom. I'm going to have to fix that. Well, okay, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. Oh my gosh. You're very powerful, you are. Yes, you are. This is my new spinner. <laughs> okay, that was a lot of white. I probably didn't need so much white. Alright, let me see if I can fix this. Oh, I've got paint on the bottom now because I don't know if I oh no see I can't I'm just gonna have to I'm just gonna have to do it. I can't reach under there now. I'll just have to make sure that I fold that foil really well under there. Right, so I'm gonna try and tilt it that way a little bit now because um, the paint's all down this end. So let me see if I can get my hand underneath the actual turntable and just get some paint to go that way a little bit. Just to help it out when it's spinning. Okay, got a bit of a lobby area there. So it all comes down to your blow on how your bloom is going to look. Love that. Okay, here we go. Obviously I don't need to push as hard. Because it's it's much stronger than the little um, the little spinner I was using last time. I was just using a cake turntable um, and it was only like that high. doesn't want to stop. It's hard to get it to stop. Well, I'm going to put my hand underneath maybe and get it to stop because I don't want to touch the side. So I'll just put my finger underneath there like that. Get it to stop. Okay. Well, it's looking pretty good. This, this, this down here I'm not impressed with. So let's see if I can tilt again. Way too much white paint. I'll know for next time. I don't need so much white paint. Definitely don't need so much white paint. I've got it all on my arm. Okay, let's see if I can get under here again and just, which way am I going? That way. Tilt some of that off. Well, not tilt it off, but just get the, the paint to run that way a little bit. So I've got some paint to spin off that end. Okay, um, let's go again. I'll spin over here from this white corner. Ready? A messy business. So I've got white paint all up my arm from holding underneath. Alright. I don't think I'm gonna like the center on this one. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Hmm. If it didn't have that. 
think I could get away with it. I'm just not loving it. And with a big one like this, I need to love it. I really do. All right, I'm going to go again. Pour over the top of it. Still got enough paint left over. I think I'm, I'm going to have to go and wash my cloths though because they're all covered in, uh, in white paint. Let me put you on pause again. I'm going to go and rinse my cloths. And I will be back. Right, I have clean gloves, I have clean cloths. If I have white all over my gloves, when I pick up my little bottles, you know, I just make them so dirty. Uh, the other thing I've got is my, this is my, I've just kept it covered, uh, cell activator. That This one's my two to one. So it's just in there. So let's use that one. Uh, I, I do prefer to use the thicker one when I'm using a hairdryer. You can see how thin these little lines are. Okay, uh, where did I put my house paint? There we go. Let's go again with the pillow. Should I take a photo? Eh, it's all right, I've got a video. Bye bye, painting. All right, let's see if that's gonna be enough because it's already got a little pillow to float around on underneath that pillow. Okay, <clears throat> back to our colors. Now, I'm gonna see if maybe I can just do one, maybe just one big one, what do you think? Maybe a few little dots outside it, but let's have a little look and see what happens. Just wavy one big one. That's the turquoise. Here we go with the phthalo blue and our green. See how you've got different colours out here? There's some green there, and that's what makes it really pretty if you can put a few little dots here and there of the of the colours rather than having them all in the middle. I'll do a few little dots here and there. Now this one is almost empty, this colour. Come on. We've got enough of you. You're pretty much empty. Um, what else have I got that I can use? Let's make another little dot just there. I haven't put the gold out yet. bit of the teal. Okay. Um, Alright. I think that will do. Do I want to put any more out? Let's just put another blob here. And a little bit of turquoise on top, hey? Whoops, what was that? Something just went in there. <clears throat> Did it? Yes. Get out. Get out of my painting. What are you? Little alien creature. Alright. That's 
see it's not quite centered I think I probably need to try and center it a little bit more just so that I don't have that same problem that I did last time with it all sort of spinning off the one side okay now here's my two to one CA cell activator And spread that looks like I'm putting a lot on but it's only really drizzling it on okay oh. now I've got it on cool this time I think I had it on warm last time I'm gonna try and go oh, push it that way rather than straight down if I can actually just there to push that way you mustn't have used as much white this time eh? going to be another flopped one. Maybe too much gold. Not sure. Not sure what went wrong there. This is gorgeous. Yeah, I don't think it's going to see this is there's not much here. That's that's gorgeous. Alright, um plan B. I don't want to waste that white. Gee, who thought it would be so hard, these bigger ones? Who thought they would be so much harder, eh? Not me. I didn't think so. Obviously, no, it's all about the blow. I'm just not getting the blow right. All right, I'm going to put that white back there. I'm running out of paint now. Let's see what I've got left. Okay, third time lucky. I'm running out of paint, you guys. my navy. What I've got left? Turquoise. I have to make up some more paints, aren't I? I think I did get a better result where I did, you know, lots of blobs everywhere. So I will do that again. I'll put my blobs out. I do have some more bottles of colour. This is not the only ones I've got, so I do have more. So don't despair. Hopefully it'll still work with you know the, the base, the pillow kind of mixed with other paints. Hopefully. Otherwise, you know, I just scrape it. I'll start again. Woo, I'm experimenting. Okay, let's pop some gold there. I think I had too much gold in the last one. Um, you're empty. All right, let me grab some more from behind my desk, my little bench. Okay, and I've got some of this 
ultramarine blue. Pop a little bit of that on. There's not much left of that one, but we can put a bit of that on. And, 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 and. Um, I've got some Payne's Grey. What do you think of Payne's Grey? Hey, put a little bit of that on just in the middle. I don't want it to go too kind of greyish looking, but it might just add a nice little hit of something. Um, oh, and some more teal. Let's go with some more teal. Is there any left? Nope. All right. Um, what else have I got? A little bit of this bright lime. A little bit of that. Don't want to overdo it with the greens. Oh, got some more. I've got this one. This is pretty. Let's do this one. A little bit of dry paint just fell in there. get that out. Just came off the little bottle. All right, that'll do me. Um, okay. Now, oh look, I'm going off to the side again. Why don't you guys tell me I'm going off to the side? It's a messy business. It sure is. It's this technique is so messy. I've got three cloths here and I've got them all covered in paint again. Righto. Oh, please work this time. Now I'm just going to pour my cell activator into the middle. I don't think I had enough last time. So this is the thicker one. The two to one. Alright, this is it. Last time. Please work. like that. Oh, look at the paint's grey. It really takes over, doesn't it? Hopefully it'll work all right. Okay, um, I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to clean myself up. So I'm still covered in paint. I'm going to rinse my cloths again and I'll come back to you. All right, I'm all clean and back again. It's, um, it's not looking amazing amazing at the moment but it's better than the last one so you know I've got everything kind of going out in one direction the middle's still a little bit dented but it'll be fine it's much easier when you're spinning than if you're tilting with your middle like that because it's all going to go out from the middle anyway so cross your fingers cross your toes all right let's do this again need something to stop it. What can I use? Um, I've got a rubber spatula. Maybe I can just kind of do that on the sides like that. That's better. <laughs> That's much better than me sticking my fingers in it. How's it looking? Wow, that's, that's pretty good. Hope that middle comes out. Still got a few areas where there's nothing, but you know, it's, it's tricky. You're going to get that, I think. You're always going to have some sections that you might not love, love, love. Same with any painting. You know, if you're 70% happy with it, <clears throat> keep it. Because you might ruin it if you try and change it or something, and then you'll only like it. It's 30%. Right, let's use my little thingy again to stop it. Okay, I can't do need to get it to go that way, don't I? Because I'm going to start losing a lot of paint off here. Got my butterfly wings. Oh, gorgeous. 
Now let's get my hand under here again and tilt get that paint to just move down a little bit so that the weight of it will just help it go in that direction it is opening up in the middle so that's that's good that's great all right let's leave it like that and spin again. I'm not even going to bother cleaning my hands. I'm just going to get messy again. I could just take just about take a swim in the paint that's in here. That's all right. Being, being a plastic base, once it all dries, I can just peel it off and throw it in the bin. Okay, so I'm not going to, I don't think I'll do that anymore because as I tilt that way, all oh, this is going that way as well. Let's just spin. Let's just spin and watch and hope for the best, okay? Big spin. That was a big spin. Let it do its thing, and when it slows down, I'll stop it. I don't know if putting the Payne's Grey in there was a good idea. That's why I didn't do it in the first two. I just thought, mm, you know, it's, it can obviously look a bit greyish. And I wanted a really bright green and blue painting. How's it looking? How's it looking? Maybe I could have done with a little bit more paint on the surface. It's not, it's taking a long time to get to the edges. So I could have done with a bit more paint, I think. Let's go. This is a real drama, isn't it? This one, my gosh. Who would have thought that such a big one would be such a big pain to do? It's hard, you guys. But I will conquer it. I will keep going until I've got it. Until I'm happy with it. Alright, it's getting a little bit overstretched now. Look at my lacing. The lacing's getting overstretched. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> um, 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 um to do what to do what if I can just go white over the top again All right, I'm just gonna keep the video going you guys feel free to fast forward if you don't want to keep watching me but I'm gonna just keep going uh, maybe I can because I haven't got much left in the way of those colors I might have to just change my colors up a little bit and at this stage, I'm just going to be practicing. So I'll maybe do some reds and oranges and things like that. Because I haven't really got enough in my blues to go again. Uh, but I have got lots of sort of reds and oranges. Uh, Goes nice with red and orange. Maybe some purple. <clears throat> Purples. Mm, what have I got? Yes, yeah, it's not enough. Um, well, actually, I made up some. Um, I made up some black yesterday. Oh, well, not yesterday. The other day. And I've got some of this red. But I don't want to put red on the white, so let's put down some gold first, and that'll be the barrier. A little bit actually. Go that way, see who wants to go this way. Let's put 
some red down. I'm actually going shopping today to get some burgundy. So that's what I want to do later on today. And some black. And what else have I got? I've got this, this sort of reddish orange colour. See how that goes. Oh, seems a little bit thicker than the others. red and what's mm -mm. gonna go nice with that some magenta maybe or or purples no maybe magenta hey mm. we'll just try it <laughs> a little bit of magenta. I was going for reds, but now I'm kind of in the pinks. Only because I don't have much red left. All my red gone now. Well, it's kind of a burgundy that I tried to make, but it's not a true burgundy. So I'm going to go uh, shopping today and get some true burgundy. That's about my gold gone. Uh, let's do some more black. Don't want the black touching the white, obviously, because it'll go grey, but it should be all right once I've uh, stretched it all out. And now I've got a lighter orange. There's a little bit left of this. I'm using up all my colours. long video isn't it might have to just go to the end fast forward to the end all right I've got a little bit of my red in another bottle I don't want the red under the cell activator though because you know it's gonna go pink although actually it won't be too bad because because, because, um, you're empty. Because I've got some magenta in there anyway. Um, all right, let's uh, leave it at that. Oh, I need some gloves. Actually, I don't think that's enough paint, you guys. I don't think that's enough paint. That's the problem I had last time. Let's put some more paint out. I didn't have enough last time to cover uh, the surface. And I don't want to have that problem again. <clears throat> okay, I've got some darker gold. My light gold's empty, but I've got some darker gold. Seems a bit thicker, actually. Hopefully it's all right. And let's put a little bit more magenta on. Gold. No, won't do any more there. I would like some more gold though on that red. And then maybe 
maybe a little bit more of the black in a couple of areas. Okay, I think I'm done. Now I need gloves on. I need to push that over again. But I've got lots of paint, hey? Lots of paint this time. So much for blues and greens. <laughs> All right, now I actually need to just push everything over that way a bit more. Hopefully that's not detrimental pushing it over. Maybe that makes my pillow a little bit too thin. But I've got, I should have just enough cell activator to do this last painting. I'm going to put more on this time. I'm going to use it all up. I want it to be able to really cover the painting. Okay, that's it. That's all gone. I don't think I could do another painting now. All right, let's do this. All right, I'm leaving it. That was quick, wasn't it? Leaving it like that. Okay, oh, the middle's looking pretty. Actually, you can actually see that paint coming back in. Look at that. Wow, you can actually see it moving back in. But that's okay, it can come in and then I'll stretch it back out. So how are we looking? Uh, a little bit kind of muddy over here. That's good. Nothing in there. Right, I'm going to put you on pause for a minute again. This, paint, this uh, video is going to be like almost an hour. I didn't wait very long. The middle's kind of being filled in. When I was standing up on my ladder looking down, look at the white. It hasn't gone over all these colours. So I think I need more white on such a big canvas and I need to actually blow it because you want it to go over all these colours otherwise what's the point of having those there? You know what I mean? They're just going to actually go off and I'm not going to have any lacing on them. So something to think about I guess. I probably needed more white to get to blow over those because yeah there's nothing there. Alright let's do this. It's tilt, just touching the rim of that turntable. So yeah, I need I needed more white. More white is what I needed to get over all those puddles that I made because those puddles <laughs> they're just wasted paint now they're just flowing off the edge live and learn well, I'm certainly learning from this today's spin paintings that's for sure making the camera shake when I do that because the tripod's on the table and every time I move the table the camera probably shakes. Right so I need to get a 
get rid of a little bit of this and there's a white corner over there which I need to get rid of. Mm, I don't know about the black in there you guys. I'm picky pants today aren't I? Alright let's go again. And this is going to be it. Hopefully you guys are learning something along the way with me today. So when I do it again, I'm going to have to mix up more paints because I'm out of paints now. I'm going to go and buy some more paints. I'm out of phthalo blue, phthalo green. I'm going to get some burgundy. Uh, the black in here is golden black. So I might get some uh, Jo Sonia's black as well. Okay, I think I might just leave it like that, you know, have a little bit of this color here because I've got a bit there and a bit there. I think I'll just leave it like that. If I try to, if I try to get it all off, maybe one more time, but I'll still leave some colour on there. I think the black is a nice contrast, actually. Uh, I wasn't thinking black, but it's it's a nice contrast. So let's go one more time. Something in there. Oh, it's just a bubble. Ready? Go! Covered in paint. Up my arms. And remember to catch that underneath so I'm not touching the sides. This is working really well actually to stop it, stop the canvas. And all I'm doing is scraping the, the bottom so I'm not touching the sides. Okay, that, that's looking better. Look at the black through here and then through there. So that's actually quite nice. I, I don't mind that. And we've got some black there. We've got quite a lot on the other corner, but that's okay. Look, I'm just going to leave it like that. <laughs> I'm exhausted after all that. And I'm sure you guys must be sick of my voice by now. Right. Um, but anyway, live and learn. This is how we learn. It's just a shame that you have to waste so much paint on a big canvas, but that's okay. I had fun doing it. I did. I enjoyed that. Um, I like to learn, and I'm, I'm the sort of person where I want to keep going and going and going until I get it right. But we've got some really, really pretty areas in here. Here, not much lacing, but the colours are still pretty. The blended colours, they're still pretty. So I won't say it's a fail, and I'll, I'll sit on it. Well, not literally, <laughs> but I'll just let it dry and, uh, and see what happens. See if I like it tomorrow. What do you think? Hey, let's take you down. Oh my gosh, exhausted. Let's go down and have a little look at it. So please don't tell me you like the first one the best because it's gone. Pretty lacing. Starting to get a little bit overstretched there. See the, the lacing's a little bit wobbly. Uh, there's the middle. Middle's really pretty. And you can see how the slightly thicker cell activator uh, really allows that lacing to, to stand out. Not much in the way of lacing over on this side, but we've got, kind of looks like lightning and shadowing there of the white going into the black. I think it's the gold and the white going into the black, which looks quite pretty. So it's, yeah, it's, it's quite a dramatic painting with the reds and the pinks and the, the gold. Um, I probably think that the orange didn't need to be there. But hey, I was just using colors because I didn't have any of my blues and greens left. All right, let's leave it there. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go and get cleaned up and make a coffee.
all right hope you guys enjoyed that sorry it's been so long 55 minutes but you know hopefully you've learned something um, and if you didn't want to watch it all you could just fast forward okay <laughs> thanks again for watching I appreciate all your support all right I'll see you for the next one I will do blues and greens again after I've got some more paint okay see you soon bye for now